Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and I'm Lady Legend. Today we have a special treat for you. Today we are interviewing antagonize good friend of mine and an amazing Twitch streamer for Call of the Wild who has had some pretty insane rare luck, but I don't actually think it's luck. He has come up with a rare spawn theory that has been helping him spawn in more rares in his red deer grind. I have started to work with it and since then I now have four melanistic red deer and through this entire grind up until a couple weeks ago I only had one. He is going to share exactly his theory and hopefully you guys can spawn in more rares as well. Now it is just a theory guys so I am going to challenge you to give it a try and see how it works for you and let us know how it works in the comments. Let's head right into it. Now if you do enjoy today's video guys or learn anything at all I'm going to ask you to do one thing. Smash that like button. It is super amazing for the algorithm and I really do appreciate it. So thanks guys for that and let's Let's head right into it. First of all, how's it going antagonize? Well, I could say it's going pretty good. So you have uh, come up with like a crazy amazing rares theory to help people spawn in more rares when they're doing a grind and it has been working for you. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I could tell you literally all about that. All right, to be do fair, it. I will say disclaimer, what works for me may not work as well for others, but in reality, I think I've dumbed it down into a sense where it just works. What it is you figured out, exactly. I figured out basically how to manipulate the fur spawns, but only for like the species you want. So like if you want like an albino lion or a melanistic red deer or whatever the case is, I figured out a way, uh, potentially figured out a way that it works it just by manipulating the spawns, awesome. essentially. Awesome, so tell us how you so, figured it out then. So while I was setting up my zones, right, there was mouflon and red deer in the same zone and I was getting ready to shoot it and somebody in chat goes, hey, that's a melanistic mouflon right there. I look and sure enough, there's this dark little female goat sitting there and I'm like, let's see if they're right. So I shoot it and go pick it up in my first melanistic. At that time, I, I didn't have any idea for fur manipulation. So I'm just setting up my zones, continuing to set up my zones. And while I'm setting up my zones, I find a piebald, roe deer hey that's cute so i shoot it and i take it and i think i found all my zones so i start shooting all my red deer and all of a sudden i start spawning in piebald red deer but like crazy amounts of piebald red deer like it was just like every every day i'd get a new piebald or two and uh, i just kept shooting but i wasn't getting melanistics or albinos and i wasn't really thinking anything crazy about it at all while i was like going from zone to zone i was still kind of discovering zones still learning the errors of my ways and my grind and i find a melanistic roe deer so that mouflon had respawned as a roe and i was like huh that's cute shoot that real quick boop go back to my grind still no thought process whatsoever of any form of manipulation now i'm just still grinding and then next thing you know i get a melanistic red deer and i'm like wait what i was like but i just it was like two rotations later i'm like i just shot that row and now i just kept going and i kept getting piebald and melanistic piebald melanistic and now my brain's going wait a minute all i really ever wanted was an albino red deer i don't want either of these i want an albino i'm like where the hell's the albino so now i'm like zone hopping i'm going all over the place it was kind of easier back then because all the animals were in the same zones and then boom one day it, ha it happens I'm hunting a zone and this cute little ibex, this southeastern Spanish ibex or whatever it's called, walks right past me and it's full white albino for sure. I shoot it, boom, pull the albino and I tell the stream, I'm not shooting any more animals whatsoever. I will only be shooting red deer. And from that day forward, I pulled all three fur types and, and it's crazy because I have more albinos than I have melanistics. How many do you have of so, each rare? Of each? Yeah. Oh my god, I couldn't I couldn't tell you. I think I have six or seven albinos, four or five melanistics, and so many piebalds that I couldn't tell you. And here's the reason why I really can't tell you is that I've ran out of money doing this grind, so I've had to, to I've had to literally delete rare furs to count for diamonds, keep the diamonds over the rare furs because of my lack of budgeting if you will and do you know how many approximately how many kills it's taken you to get all these rares can you guess because i know you haven't I, you haven't kept track right i refuse to count them do you have two to great track. ones right two i great do one have two great ones the first one took me uh seven four 17 days well we're talking 17 long one. days like you stream tell us how sometimes how long you stream for um, I, during that rotation time, I did about two or three 24-hour streams and two 
uh, 30 plus hour streams and I averaged um, every day during that first 17 day grind I grinded for no less than 12 to 15 hours every single day that I didn't go like above and beyond with the 24s and 30 hour plus streams the RNG factor is real just because you've manipulated the furs and you've gotten your albino your piebald and your mella and they're now spawning in as red deer that doesn't mean that you're gonna get these every single rotation no it's it no different time. than pulling a diamond it's no different than getting your great one to spawn it's literally all RNG at the end of the day and even while I've been doing this, I've had like people try to theory bust it, but the reality is of this. People have been like, yo, I've had two piebalds on my map at the same time. Yes, you can, that's RNG. That's literally the epitome of RNG. So while they're like, I've had two piebalds in one rotation, that's cute because I've also had an albino and a melanistic in one rotation. So that doesn't change anything. I've also had four nines in one rotation. I've had four nines troll me in one rotation and four diamonds in one rotation. Once you start, grooming your map properly and you're just sitting there just working your zones it pretty much becomes sky's the limit on what you're capable of but keep in mind 17 days to get the first great one one day to get the second great one and i'm at like day 19 or 20 now and i still haven't pulled my third so my rng for great ones is terrible mm -hmm. but my furs are so insane i'm about to have to create an entire lodge dedicated just to furs and i'm tempted to do it just to prove to people like how powerful this whole thing is. I'm on PlayStation, so I know that like for some people, when they take into account what their tools are, whether it be Xbox or PC, it, it could be potentially different. And with me switching over to PC, my goal is to show or more or less prove my theory by doing this literally all over again. I'm gonna go hunt Quattro and find my fur types if they're on other species so that I can, once I get them, you know, know I need to chill now on shooting everything because I feel like one of the most important things of what I discovered while doing this is, think about it, I shoot a mouflon, it comes back as a roe deer. So that told me something. Once my brain started rattling with the rarest theory, it told me stop shooting stuff. Like don't just shoot because you wanna shoot. Like if you're specifically saying, I want piebald, I want albino, I want melanistic red deer, once you get the fur type, just shoot that animal. Because if you keep shooting other stuff, then you possibly, you know, RNG, you RNG heaven that will rare drop to spawn a, on other species it'll, if you shoot exactly. other stuff, right? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Well, that's not what you want to do. Mm -mm. But on that same note, I already said, there's only one fur type that I actually want on my red deer and that's albinos. So when I say I'm gonna go groom quattro, what I mean to say is I'm gonna go find that albino and I'm not shooting uh, uh, that piebald row and that melanistic ibex, Whatever. for example, yep. I'm gonna leave them. They could stay that way on the map forever. I'm only gonna shoot red deer once I find that albino and hopefully just start farming in beautiful albino red deers like absolute crazy. Mm -hmm. That's because that's you know, amazing. Why not? Yeah, absolutely. I'm pretty boastful about it. Like whenever it happens, I just kind of look at the camera and tell them I'm like, we're still a theory, guys. Are we still really doing this? Is it still there? Is it technically a theory if it's happening? Like it's pretty simple. Your world with the animals on it. And once you've killed them, harvest their bodies or spawn manipulate, whatever the case is, they go into RNG heaven. If you take your three fur types and you have them sitting in RNG heaven and you're only shooting one species, those fur types don't have anywhere else to go. They, they can't go on a row, they can't go on a goat, they can't go anywhere else. They can only go onto the species that you're killing. So the more you kill per rotation, the more you increase your RNG of getting more of these fur types. That's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. That's literally everything in a nutshell. And it, it's people wanna prove it wrong or don't believe, Test it for yourself and let me know after you've gotten your like 13 albino. We would like to issue you guys a challenge to go ahead and try this. You just want to go off onto your map, shoot whatever rare it is you would like to see from your grind, be it albino, melanistic. Piebald is the easiest anyway. It's going to spawn anyway. But I think you should do albino or melanistic. But it has started to work for me now right after my last great one the next rotation i had a level seven mela spawn he might have spawned off the back of the great one i have no idea but i've had another melanistic spawn and it seems to be repeating now right well, wait, <laughs> that's why i it, don't want to leave an my, albino i'm gonna have to go wasn't find an albino off of my map but i don't want to do that's it that's the one you said you don't have that's the one i don't have but i have the mela spawn happening so i i actually want to try and spawn like an, a mythical or even bigger mela and once that happens then i'm gonna go off and try and find an albino and try and get the albino to spawn in 
So yeah, so go out and try this, guys, and definitely check out Antagonize on Twitch. He is amazing. He is for the 18 plus crowd, not for the kiddies, but he is a lot of fun and absolutely amazing at Call of the Wild. And we're going to be streaming together and doing some comps and some fun stuff too. Right? Oh yeah. I'm yep. excited to get my butt whooped. Yes! <laughs> well, thank you. Wait. No, thank you. And honestly, you're too nice. You're, you're just incredibly too nice. So yeah, guys, go out and try this rare spawn theory. Make it work and let me know in the comments how it's going for you. I want to hear. So guys, you definitely need to come out and watch him stream from the PC because he is going to replicate and make this theory work again and basically prove it. Right? Yeah, it's exactly right. So and I can't there wait. you have it. So in a nutshell, guys, what you want to do is stop your grind, go off onto the same map you're doing your grind on, find an albino, melanistic, or a piebald if that's what you would like to spawn in your grind, shoot it, and come right back to your grind and keep grinding. Now, it's not going to happen immediately. It could take several hundred kills, so don't get discouraged and see if you do get that rare variation to spawn for you. And a special thanks to Antagonize for sharing his wisdom with us, what he has discovered. And hopefully we can get some more rares to spawn for us in our Great One grinds. And it's absolutely fascinating and I am super excited about it. And that is going to wrap it up for this one. Thanks so much to Antagonize. Definitely check him out on Twitch, guys. He is absolutely fantastic. And we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.